right into this video you guys these short boho locks y'all it took a minute for me to end up with this style i've actually had these locks for about a month now i knew i wanted to do something different soon especially for the summer and i had already done like long locks recently but y'all i don't know if i've ever done or it's been quite a while over a year or so since i've done like short locks like this like the boho style and then i chose this color because i wanted to do something other than black y'all know i will stick to black braids black twists black everything i just wanted to change it up so i initially started off doing a completely different style it was actually um like bigger braids jumbo braids i'm gonna go ahead and insert that in just a little bit here because i may end up revisiting this style later on i'm not really sure it just didn't turn out the way i wanted to so i'm gonna go ahead and insert the few clips in here tell you guys about it just in case you're interested just in case you need a style and then we'll get back to this style here all right you guys so keep in mind the same base so braid pattern that i'm gonna show you guys here that i did for my original style is the same thing i'm gonna use for these locks i literally just put the locks in the next day and yeah anyways y'all i'm doing what i always do just starting off with parting two sections um, on each side and then I actually went back and added um, like two more braids right here it looks awkward but once I braid it all down you guys will see that I just extended the part um, in the middle but I did not want to extend it on the side so I only planned on doing two rows of singles but I wanted that middle part to have singles as well so I just made that a little bit longer like you see here. Next you guys, this is my hair all braided down. Um, it looks a little awkward again because I started off doing horizontal braids, but y'all I am not good at that. I know the braids would actually lay flatter if you do them horizontal versus uh, vertically, but it took me way too long just to do those two horizontal braids. So I just ended up doing two rows of those and then just doing my regular basic um, straight vertical braids for the rest of my hair. That's why it looks like this. So whatever braid pattern you decide, just make sure it's nice and neat and as flat as possible. You don't wanna do super big cornrows. You want them to be pretty small because these um, locks aren't super um, big, but they're not super small either. So the smaller your cornrows are always, the better the outcome is gonna be. And then you guys see, I just did some simple single um, braids right in the front. I braided about an inch down and that was basically it because I'm using this hair, which I should have not even used it, um, to do my singles in the front, you guys. And this was the biggest mistake. I could not find my regular braid hair, Konecalon hair, and I had to use this Marley hair because it's all I could find in my house, y'all. And I just had a feeling this was not gonna work. I looked for this braid hair for like 45 minutes. I could not find it and was like I'm losing time I need to get my hair done well I should have just not even did it it didn't come out horribly it just didn't match the rest of the hair um so I ended up so because I can't do feed and braids I have to do it like this so I have to do the crochet the braid and crochet method um which was taking me a while and that was one issue the other issue was i went on ahead and put a few of the box braids that i talked about um right in the back so i can see where to stop the singles in the front because i wanted this look to be short like i was definitely thinking 90s brandies vibes like just short thicker box braids but the hair was two totally different textures it didn't flow um, I was having a hard time getting the exact length that I wanted in the front right here you guys you see the ends are curly with these box braids it was just too much of a difference and this Marley hair was actually really good and long and I just didn't want to just completely waste it so I scrapped the entire thing. So yeah, y'all, that style just did not work out this time. So I was like, I still need something. I still was ready to put my hair up in a protective style. And I remember I had these locks tucked away because y'all know I'm real good at that. And I tell you guys to do stuff like that all the time for moments like this. 
So if you've never done um, crochet locks before, you guys, they're actually very easy. It's just a little bit time consuming. This is definitely not a quick and easy style. Like I said before, this is more of an easy style. It may not be that quick for you. It took me some time to slide each braid through. That was probably the only thing that really slowed me down. And it's not because the locks are stiff. Um, or anything like that. I just think they're really well made. You really have to just take your time and slide the crochet hook through the lock and then pull. And if you're wondering, if you tried soft locks before, which I love soft locks, um, these are not soft, but they're not far from it. Um, they're definitely not super hard either, you know, where they just don't bend, they stick up. No, they're flexible, they move, they're comfortable, all that great stuff, but they're just not as soft as soft locks. So yeah, so let me go ahead and show you guys a quick tutorial just quickly on how I installed this hair. All right, so this is how the locks come, you guys. You get six packs of hair in which each bundle, um, you get 16 locks. So they give you more than enough. This is 10 inches long. I will put all the details down below. Um, and I like these particular locks because you get more of the um, like curly strands. It's, it's like two or three strands per lock. All right, so I went on ahead and finished the other side of my head. So all of my single braids are finished. Like I said, I don't know if I said it actually. You don't have to do um, two rows of single braids. I do suggest at least one though, you guys, um, just to make it just not look so cornrow -y. Y'all know what I'm trying to say? Anyways, I just like the singles in the front. Um, here, y'all, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the um, locks to the back of my head. I'm just crocheting them in. Um, yeah, it's basic. It's what y'all know. Y'all already know how to do this. Not gonna bore you with this. Y'all, I was a little iffy about the color. Um, I actually forgot that I ordered these in this color, even though I knew I wanted some color for the summertime. But when I actually went to go open up the package, I was like, God dang it, these are not black. Keep in mind, these come in black. They come in all the standard um, colors, y'all. Um, I just am not like the biggest fan of seeing like a black root. So a black box, meaning like my natural hair and then seeing like different color after that. That's why I probably always choose black hair, but hey, we switched it up. We did something different and I really ended up loving the outcome of this. Okay, back to what we're doing, back to the tutorial. I am just um, crocheting the lock through uh, the braid basically i've done this plenty of times i think you guys know how to do this just make sure you're not pulling your hair well i don't pull my like little braid through as well i keep that separate so you'll see me hold my braid or push it to the side and i'm just focused on getting that lock through and i went on ahead and did this i think to the majority of this side so next you guys, I'm gonna start about an inch down from the lock and I'm just gonna insert my hook through the lock, taking your time. Um, and then I'm just gonna pull my hair through just like so. And I'm gonna repeat these steps. Now these locks are pretty tight. Like I said, I, I just think they're well made. They're not loose and they're not soft locks. So it took a little bit wiggling and it took some patience. It's not a hard step, it just took some patience. That's why I said doing one um, row of singles would save you a whole Whole, whole lot more time I just had double to do so it took me quite a while had I done one row of singles in the front I would have of course clearly finished much earlier but it is what it is so I'm just gonna keep repeating myself just inserting the needle through the lock and then just pulling my hair through um, I had to really take my time with this too because my hair is black and this hair is not black and you could really see the difference if my hair was not pulled through the right way. So after I finished doing all this, you guys, my hair was practically done and these are a few styles you can do with this look. I do want to quickly say that this style should last you. I have a feeling, I mean, y'all know I'm not going to keep it in that long because that's just not what I do. But if you plan on putting these in, I think it should last you quite a while. When it comes to crochet, your base 
makes a really big difference on how your hair is going to hold up and how it'll end up looking um, weeks and weeks from now, basically. So I always try and make sure the base of my hair, so my natural hair is braided up as nice and neat as I possibly can. Don't stress too much about it, but if you want the style to last, don't just throw some braids in there and call it a day. I say take your time for sure with installing your base, so your um, foundation, your cornrows, and then the rest of it should be nice and easy and it should last you a while y'all i keep looking at myself right here in the mirror and i don't know i think i like this color i'm just like not used to seeing myself like this but i think i like it i don't know i don't know it's cute right it's cute anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'll put all the information on both braids down below so the bigger jumbo braids that i talked about earlier in this video that i actually really do like you guys that's why i said i might revisit that style later on um and of course i'll put these locks down there thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you in my next video bye if somebody's heaven, tell me who